Ready? There you go. Ready to go. You don't know what to do? You must have got him scared. How long did he take to take off? He's kind of nudging. He's kind of nudging a little. He's taking, he'll take off. There you go. Uh, Where'd you jump? Uh, Why'd you jump? Oh, I guess that animals just bother me a bunch. <laughs> You're so full of crap. Uh, hey, where's that Charlie bird going to run off to? After? I have no idea. Central America somewhere. Central America somewhere. Don't Southern most Mexico, of them don't let them go to Mexico? Yeah, Southern Mexico, Guatemala, Nicaragua, or Western Costa Rica. Uh, it, looks, it looks like these are flying. Fifteen. Yeah, there yeah. you go. And uh, and the old wise tale about them flying on the back of other birds is a bunch of BS, right? Is the other bird not flown over here yet? Want it to fly? Yeah. This, this is... <laughs> <laughs> now you want it to fly? <laughs> oh, she got a minute. Yeah. I guess we're getting a little behind now, so a whole lot... Oh, yeah, see, I want to see a band. Another male bird here. Yeah, that's the Unbanded. Whoops, don't lose that band. Windows. Pulling off the table. There we go. Are those things actually, the bands actually have any kind of identification? Yeah, sure. That's what they are before I cut them out. Oh, are they really? Wow. That's a, it's a 16 step process and getting it from there to this uh, gonda bird. Yeah. And one of the hardest part is filing the edges of these things so there aren't any sharp edges. I would think the hardest thing would be holding those birds so you don't injure them. Um, what was the adult male? Okay, that was 63, so this is 64. Okay. Do you want this? Yeah. Can you hold it? It's okay. Hold it when it has... Wow, you even got to use it. 16, 90%. And 40. Was it, what is this one? 21. What is this one? Can I follow you? Hey, young man. Can I follow you and watch you do it? Okay. What will you do? Just hold on. Watch out. I do it. Watch out. Can I? Can I okay, open your palm. Mom. What then? I'm thirsty. I can feel his heart. Can you? Maybe I'll scare him. There's a guard wasp. I scared the one Ben had. Oh, yeah. Maybe if that cage goes. Oh, there he goes. I jumped. When that mine took off, you didn't even jump. <laughs> ben did a little bit of scared. Huh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do you catch these things? Got to be fast. Real fast. Oh, they come flying by. We just grab them. Well, my, that is amazing. Okay. You recording this? Oh. Yeah. So you're telling me a big story, then, aren't you? Just like you. Like story. <laughs> no, how do you do it? How do you do it? How do you catch them? How do you catch them? Huh? Oh yeah. They. Why do they go in the cage? Because we got the hummingbird feeder in there. Yeah. And they go in that cage so we can catch them. Oh, okay. Band them. Okay, I used to be a Sanson, but I still well, yeah. the name. You f yeah, you found out better, didn't you? Huh? I found somebody a lot better. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> now, that's Terry. This Terry, how you do? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet now, you. Now you're Jack's? Jack cousin. Cousin. Yeah. Worthless. Yeah, Uncle Bob, it said, Mike. Yeah. Uncle.
there's nobody in there right now. Oh, there ain't. Nope, nothing in there. There's some bees. Yeah. Did it self-capture that cage? Does that cage catch them by itself, or huh? if there's only one way in for them? Yep. Yeah. You got a bag? Aunt Betty, Uncle John, you want something to drink? Not right now. Mm -hmm. Bourbon and Coke, but don't have that here. <laughs> got a bottle I did, but no bourbon and Coke. Right, to my fingers. <laughs> You, and you weren't there for the festival? No. Oh man, you missed the Gerards once in a year thing? We were in South Carolina. Oh, thought you went. What did you think of that uh, old Biltmore? Oh my God. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen recently. We went in there and we went in there and ate in there, yeah. They didn't, they didn't let you go upstairs. And I thought, boy, well, you're lucky because the way things are going nowadays, they steal everything that you got. Yeah. Man, that library, can you imagine the uh, first editions and stuff that was in that All thing? The books that's in there. Oh, my gosh. I forgot how many thousand, 10,000 books or something like that. I don't know. And then those Flemish, those uh, Flemish. Flemish uh, tapestries hanging on a wall. What about the, the ceiling? <laughs> you know what? I, what really amazed me about it is that every doorway, every cornice, had a statue on it, and they were all different. They're all. Did you notice that? Yeah, but the ceiling is what got me. The yeah. Ceiling. Yeah. The cloth. Yeah. All of it? No. Not all. No. Not all. Not all. No. A lot of it okay. had glass. I'm surprised you didn't. Oh, what do you think about that dome? Yeah. But, uh, yeah if, if you go down in the, the lower level there when you first enter, where that big well of fountains in the middle, you go down. Uh, Solarium. So, yeah. I guess you can go down there. Uh, we we go down there and just sit down. Yeah. Look around if we wanted to. We went down there and, of course, heard a swimming pool in the bowling alley. We didn't go in bowling alley. We did. We bet. Yeah. They had one, but I don't yeah. Think we saw it. Did we? I yeah. They got a. They have a bowling. That. Um, oh, that's a real famous. Frank Lloyd Wright. Hi, buddy. The Frank Lloyd Wright house up in Springfield. Yeah. It's got a bowling alley in it. Has it? Yeah. I always loved his uh, designer homes. Oh, my. No good for people with cripple like I am. But Casey, uh, Casey did all the rewiring on it. Well, his company did, but he was foreman on the job. Yeah. yeah. 
he said it was the most screwed up thing he'd ever been on. Because <laughs> they had to, you know, protect everything and put everything back the way it was and update all the electric in it. He says, I'll give you a half hour to quit that. Yeah. <laughs>